Halo Mega Blind Bags. You can never get enough of them, literally. I am addicted. And I have a box full of Halo Universe Series 1 to 3 blind bags. In today's video, I'm going to open two of each of the series of blind bags. And I hope you enjoy. Also, if you enjoyed this kind of content, please do make sure to subscribe. I got to blast open all of these blind bags in the next episode, and I'd love you to stick around for them. Okay, so first of all, a quick history lesson for you. The blind bags have gone through so many iterations. We started with series one to nine. Then we've had a variety of different named blind bag series. And then we went to infinite and universe. Infinite series one to five and universe series one to three. The series two, the series one, that seems iconic at this point, and the series three. So we're actually going to open two of each blind bag series, totally at random, totally uncoded. And we're just gonna see what we can find. So all of this lineup, we're gonna choose some random blind bags from Halo Universe Series 1, Halo Universe Series 2, Halo Universe Series 3. Yoda, six blind bags. What could we possibly get our hands on today, boys? At some points I have coded these before. I've not coded them today. I know that series one, I have a lot of the brutes. I'd be very surprised if I got a Jager or a Dumb Knife from series three because I think I've already opened that. But you never know. We really don't know what we're gonna find today. We gotta go for series one first, right? We'll do one of each, one of each. I think that's the right way to do it. I do a small little cut at the back. I'm looking for any army builders from this series. The white grunt, surprisingly, has become really uh, expensive over the time, but it's a decent series. It was such a surprise when this series first got announced. I actually did the announcement video of this series, sort of talking about it when I was at Hong Kong Disneyland, which is pretty funny. Okay, what have we got? Three, two, one. Ooh, okay. Not bad, not bad, I'm happy with that. This is the Halo 2 Marine, and this is at a point where the blind bags are actually buildable, which is way more up my alley, I much prefer that. Bat bam My opinion, the commons should always be the really good army builders. In this blind bag series, weirdly enough, we've only got commons and rares, there's no ultra rare. Taking it down to just six figures, that ain't it, Chief. But then we are back up to eight figures for the new blind bag series, so that's what you wanna see. I have just had the most incredible surge in motivation for making content. It's time to get back to my roots and do some blind bag opening. King of the goatees here, just, this is what I'd look like if I was bold. That's the absolute truth of it. The whole Halo universe line came out of nowhere, but it was the perfect thing because we'd had series one to three of the infinite blind bags and they were stale. So it was really smart of Mega to go to a Halo universe approach. They could have the Halo infinite line for infinite figures and the universe for literally everything else. If this is a Halo universe series, don't even bother with the Halo Infinite, right? You can never have enough of these Halo 2 Marines. Next blind bag, we're opening Series 2. Break that open. Three, two, one, it's... Ooh, okay. Soldier. I can already hear the Halo 5 music kicking in. Also really interesting with this series that they came with different colored base plates. I feel like honestly, a lot of the mega um, blind bags and uh, heroes as of the last few years, they've been moving away from like the collectability of getting a whole series and more just to individual figures. They've all got different colored base plates. Is that a problem? No. But does it feel like maybe a slightly disjointed series from it? I don't know, maybe, maybe possibly. And I don't know why the ultra rare is the anniversary grunt, the one that everybody wants. We just keep on getting W's with our Billy the Grunt. Mega has officially branded that, the canonical Billy the Grunt, so big wins for the community. Just say it's canonically Billy. Okay, just, it's just, Billy. It's Billy and Chips. Guys, we got a canonical Billy. This is the That's official really Billy the Grunt from here on out. It has been blessed by Kevin. My personal opinion, common, 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 Rare, rare, ultra rare. I will always get more Promethean soldiers. Why he looks like he has lipstick, I don't really know. They literally have a minion guardian on their back. The lipstick actually looks way better than a lot of Promethean uh, soldiers I've seen, so this is cool. Moving on to what I have very uh, clearly dubbed the greatest blind bag series of all time. It is just so insane. And you can check out the full video where I sit down with Kev, who's one of the lead designers at Mega, and we talk through the series at length. So, what do we want? Uh, we pretty much want anything apart from the Hell Jumper. Three, two, one. Chips. 
Chips Dubo, exactly as he was produced in the original uh, Clash on the Ring blind bag series. Mega had this really smart note where like clearly they shrunk the blind bags down to six for budgetary reasons, but they had the idea that if they bring back eight, let's do six new figures and two repeat characters. So the Grunt and the Marine, he's one of my favorites. Look at him. Not many figures show off the marbling effect as good as these. AC Jager, definitely gotta be the ultra rare in my opinion. These two as the rares? No, I would have put the Helljumper and the CQB as rares because you really only need one. And then these five are the common cannon fodder. I miss the days of these not coming pre-assembled. I know that the hip joints are hard to get in and that might put off people who are new to the hobby. I don't know, I really like the whole idea that you, you build. Let me know how you think I've done so far. I think that's a pretty good initial haul. Two commons and one rare. Two marines and a Promethean. And it's time for our second wave. Series one, Halo Universe. Let's see what we get. Three, two, one. Okay, all right. This mossy hillside, that ain't it, man. Like, that ain't it. I think they can do so much better. It's meant to be this collectible war of different, like, factions. Put them on a battlefield. Like, bring back Alpha and Bravo series. Such a nice elite. I know there's a lot of people that are gonna want to just buy this straight out of my hands. Original Purple Covenant Carbine. God, Halo Wars 2 came out a long time ago now. I feel old. Very little paint apps, but it does the job. Universe that... Series 2. 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Okay, okay, I told you these weren't coded. That's funny, wow, two Promethean soldiers. That's hilarious that I got two, that's actually kind of crazy. In the game, obviously, these are floating, they're not really attached by anything, so that's a really good effect, really smart play there. Halo Universe, Series 3 blind bag, what's it gonna be? Give me like a, a Flood Brew, an Elite. Give me any cannon fire. Don't give me the hell jump. Three, two, one. That's not what I asked for, but how could I be mad at that? How could I be mad? Love that white base plate, just total contrast. The CQB is a reimagining from the Ultimate Battle Collector's Pack. Love the history behind this figure. And now all we need is my precious security Spartan and we have all the figures that I wanted. Right, hope that gave you a nice perspective on sort of this series. I hope this was a little bit educational for you. Shout out to you all, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there. And if you enjoyed this kind of video, please do subscribe. I got literally a billion others. And I'll see you next time. The Promethean Soldiers are signing off.